Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's still Budget Stravaganza 2023. Uh, we're trying to not make this one last as long as last year's. Last year's took forever. So yeah, we, we're gonna do this in a timely manner, hopefully finishing today. Uh, but we'll see. We got five games left and it's time for Jade Order. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Okay, Jade Order, let's get after it. Let's find out. Let's learn the things. Made with Unity, not surprising. Doesn't go full screen automatically. Also not surprising. Okay. Do I have controlly controls? Ooh. It's got music. Okay. Ooh, hey, key map. Okay. Uh move cursor with the arrow keys. Accept, cancel it back, game menu, blessings. This is your shift key. Backspace is undo. Okay. Alright, alright. Wait. Yeah, let's uh go into not oh ho ho full screen. There we go. That's the one. Thank you. Okay. Now let's find out. It yeah, honestly, uh, looks like it was made for slightly less than full screen. The the pixels look a little um, blurred out. Okay, so hopefully tutorial. The eternal conflict between the gods knows no end. Since the beginning of time, the clash of life and death is a dirt. Balance must be preserved. Indeed. Wait, I am pushing, like... Bruh. Did my... Oh, okay. Alright. The goddess of life thrives under the glowing light of Jade Moon. In the long night of the eclipse, her power weakens. The sacred beacons of the old buried roots cast the only rays of light that keep her strong. The Ashiga... Oh my god. Are you giving me too much lore in the beginning? A skip. Skippity skip. Sorry, I got time for <laughs> that much lore at the beginning of a game. Okay, goal. Defeat the requested amount of enemies <laughs> to the light. Uh, to light the sacred beacon. Once lit, move to it and continue to the next site. Uh, move the cursor with Babadaboo and press boom to move there. Attack. Don't attack enemies from the front or they will consume you in flames. Try attacking them from the rear or sides. Okay. All right. That. All right. So I can move the cursor and then I move there and then attack this guy. Okay. No, go there. <coughs> okay. So it's turn based, right? And I like can only make one move per turn, but I don't see those enemies moving. Okay. The beacon is lit. Continue. Hopefully other levels get more interesting. Spark Metal. Each site has three challenge metals. Obtain the Spark Metal after completing the site. Grab the treasure before leaving the site in order to obtain an ancient coin along with its metal. Uh, complete the site in the same number of turns or less as requested the turn indicator of the ancient coin metal in this. Okay. All right. Uh, 
did uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we we got it. We got it. <laughs> okay. Well, why won't you let me attack bro like I'm right next to him? It would be ideal. Okay, fine. I'll go here. And then here. And then here. Because I have to attack everybody from the side. Get him. There we go. So, yeah, this is... It, it's much less like your standard um, turn-based... RPG and it's more like a puzzle just in the way it feels like it's kind of hmm because I do like a good turn-based RPG not gonna lie um there we go got our coin I'm way over the turn limit and there we go all right so yeah if i really cared i would try and do that in way fewer turns but whatever <laughs> like so i'm gonna be honest with you like this feels like a lot less about like okay I i'm gonna attack somebody from the front just to find out Okay, so y you do absolutely die. Okay, I get it. I was defeated. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Okay, <laughs> replay. Okay, obviously I have to go there. And so, like... Because here's the thing. Like... There have been some absolutely excellent um, turn-based RPGs, like strategy um, RPGs on Steam in recent years. Uh, some really good ones. I mean, obviously... Uh, people love XCOM. I... I must admit, I have not played those yet. I do intend to. I have them in my library. But uh, I'm all about Disgaea. Like, I love the Disgaea series. Okay, so now we've got new enemies. Uh, okay, figure out their attack pattern in order to defeat them. Don't forget, don't attempt frontal attacks. Okay. Oh, undo necessary amount of turns. Okay. Uh, that's right. I can undo turns. Okay. So, first of all, let's go get that treasure. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. I know I was defeated. Alright. I got greedy. Okay. So, yeah. I read the tutorial. So, obviously... Okay. So, he doesn't attack if I'm more than two spaces away kill him okay yeah it I'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel like there's that much strategy in this strategy based RPG which is you know not ideal because like you you want there to be like good strategy and this just feels like what's it feel like because it i'm trying to think there there are other games that are like you know you think it's going to be one thing but then it turns out that it's you know puzzles um oh i can't attack it oh my god Okay, so we'll attack. Oh, I can't attack there because of the rubble? Ugh, rubble, rubble. 
Okay, so we'll go this way. Anyway, it's... Uh, like, it's okay. It's, it's a decent game. It just is not as satisfying as I had hoped. Like, when I saw the graphics on this one and the vibe and everything, I just... I was really kind of excited. Yeah, I'm going to take way more than 25 turns. Um, I was excited because I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. And, um, you know, like uh, some of the really good uh, turn-based RPGs, like tactical strategy type RPGs. I'm thinking of like uh, the Banner Saga. Um, you know, really good. You got to be very strategic. And, um, I've mentioned before the first time I, that's an RPG where your choices really matter. And, uh, I was screwing around in the tutorial and accidentally got one of my characters killed. And then the game just was like, okay. Oh, blessing learned. Even time flow warp press. Shift to access blessings menu and select it. This blessing has cost of one spark. The sacred spark lives within the goddess's tears that have begun to fall. Absorb the spark by moving the hero to the tier. Each tier grants one spark. Uh, select an enemy in range that can alternate positions. The selected enemy will be the only one to alternate and one turn will pass. Okay. I mean, it's bringing some wrinkles. That's fun. And, you know, you, you like there to be wrinkles. Oh, oh, he finally moving. Okay. Um, all right. So if we, wait, where am I? Okay. Yeah. Select the only thing that is selectable. Wait, why can't I? No enemy in selected position. Wait. Backspace. Because apparently, like... So... I'm trying to figure this out real quick. So this guy... Oh. Aha. Wait, what? Go there. I'm getting that treasure, though. In no way, I'm not getting that treasure. Anyway. So it does add new little wrinkles to it. So it's not like... It's not completely boring, but it's a little boring. <laughs> A little bit boring not gonna lie because I don't feel like I'm taxing my mind that much on this and you know we're, we're in site one six now we're in one seven so you know at what point let's oh he can turn on me that's that's a bunch of baloney Okay. Beacon defiled. Anyway. What if I go right there? Nope. <laughs> he, he, he gets me right away. Okay. So, th this is the thing that bothers me is I only have two choices. Now I have the same two choices. And see, he just turns on me. So, like, there's obviously uh, only one way through. And, and this is... Okay. Let me just stop playing for a moment and explain my frustration with this concept. Because, like, there is an obvious way through. And uh, if I spend some time, I would make it through this level. 
because I know that I could, but I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to explain why this is not what I wanted it to be. Uh, because, okay. So when you play a game like, uh, Brave Land, for instance, or Disgaea, Disgaea is an even better example of, you know, th the type of, <clears throat> you know, uh, tactics based RPG stuff. The thing about it is that, um, there's not just one way through. There's not just one way to approach a battlefield. There are many multiple ways of doing it. And in Disgaea, because you build your own henchmen and design them the way that you want so that they can be who you need on the battlefield with you uh, to match the gameplay style that you are developing over the course of playing the game, like you can really develop your own strategy and approach to doing it. So th this is my gripe with this game. And, and I know that it's going to sound very ridiculous because like, look, this game has good music, good visuals. Uh, it is, uh, interesting and unique and all of those things, which normally would have me flipping out and going like oh wow this game is amazing you're getting a ton of game for the amount that you are paying etc etc uh but here's what bothers me about it this is because like i i always harp on the fact that there are um there are ways of making games in a certain genre and there are ways of making a strategy turn-based rpg Th that are not this <laughs> that give you multiple options and ways to find your way through like that's why uh you know brave land they can make as many brave land games as they want uh because you you get to approach each level of those games in the way that you want you know and uh, suffer the consequences of your own choices, um, but also still find your own way through. And this is less of that, like, because I'm looking at the choices that I have right now and right off the bat, I've got two choices. One of them is obviously wrong. And so I can make that second choice and that second choice only. And then from that point, I've got two more choices. One of them, again, obviously wrong, leads to death every time. So I have to make the other one. And that is not as satisfying as like really developing an, a, an active strategy to eliminate your enemies, protect your allies, and make your way through a battle while causing maximum damage and uh minimizing the casualties on your side which is the point of a turn-based strategy rpg and so this doesn't do that and it drives me crazy so so we're gonna quit <laughs> but it does do a number of things quite well you know, it gives you a tutorial. It gives you way too much lore and stuff, but like, who cares? That's so common. That is such a common mistake. Um, the, uh, yeah. So, um, it brings in a number of wrinkles and things and, uh, you know, it, but ultimately it's a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game masquerading as a strategy turn-based rpg and so the less you think of it as a strategy turn-based rpg the more you can enjoy it i guess but i'm not all about puzzle games but i do love a good like rpg that you can really get into and grind it out which like the strategy ones are really 
that's what they are. So yeah, of course I love that. And so of course it's going to drive me crazy that this is not that. So yeah, we can chalk a lot of my feelings on this game up to me because obviously like, okay, where, how do I, how do I get out? Where's my, how do I leave? How do I leave game? I don't want to start again. How do I leave? Do I have to alt? Te okay. <laughs> and stop. Confirm. Okay. Not the ideal way. You got to have a menu where you can leave Jade order. But otherwise, like, I do like a lot of things about this game. But ultimately, it frustrates me. So what do we do with that score wise? Let's find out. All right. I'm giving Jade Order 7 out of 10. Uh, I know I could have gone higher. The graphics are great. The music's great. A uh, lot of things about the game are way more than you would expect at this price point. But it drives me nutso bananas that it is more puzzle than it is strategy. So that you know i talked at length about my feelings about that so we'll, we'll just leave it there and i know that uh somebody else would play this and love it way more than i do and if that's you then good do it the the game is cheap and it looks cool uh so yeah if that's you if you like it, if this is, you know, if it doesn't drive you crazy that it's more puzzle than strategy, okay, good, good on you. Anyway, uh, so that's going to do it for this one, people. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.